Okay, you're tagged. Uh, let's see. Rocket launcher? Let's get you in range. We're just gonna open fire. I don't even know if we're gonna hail them first. Hello everyone, Thranks is here, and welcome back to No Man's Sky, episode 26, where we have landed at our ancient ruins we were traveling to at the end of the last episode. Looks like this one is just going to give us a few new words, and oh, there's a, there's a plaque as well. What's that noise? Ah, the sentinel, of course. Well, let's go ahead and... Let's learn the Gek word for retain. Okay, that's that's good. I accept. Then we have our guild quests. Actually, yes, that's um, cleanse of death, taste of mordite, giant shadows. We can kind of do all of those, and then future technology to scan unique minerals. I believe we may have scanned most of the minerals here, though. I don't know how that's going to work. Egg. Oh, there is an artifact over here. Okay. Gek word for foul. Alright, well, I don't want to linger on this planet too much more. I want to get the teleporter built and then, uh, and then head on out. So, I think... Well, let's see. My vision clouds and the words of the ancient Gek seem to emerge on the strange stone structure. I sense that these are words that the forgotten restless want understood. I'm going to seek help with language. The outer edge burns at the hands of the Gek first spawn. Our enemies are broken. We are the extinguishers of hope. Well, they make themselves sound like a warrior race. In our wake, we leave only the lamentations of the conquered. We fear nothing. Yes, I would like to learn more language because I'm not going to chase any more ruins. The Gek word for syrup. And our reputation goes up. Excellent. Syrup. That seems oddly specific. Very technology. No, no, we could chase that dragon for quite a while, really. We need to do is find some minerals we can scan that have yet to be scanned. I don't know how possible that's going to be on this planet. Oh, we've scanned even the little little donuts in the ground, it appears. Yeah. Oh, we could look for minerals in the water. Oh, yeah. And I think we have, let's see, four species. We're still missing three species, but we're going to put a teleporter at our base, so it won't be the end of the world if we don't find them now, because I'm sure we'll be back at some point. I really don't see minerals underwater, though. Oh, it's getting deeper. Wait a minute. Okay, that bothers me. I don't know how I feel about that. Behavior threatening. Diet liquidized organisms. Okay, well... If its behavior is threatening, let's... Oh my goodness. here I was thinking it would be fun to explore some of the deeper waters because there wasn't really a lot of danger in the other areas but apparently as the oceans get a little deeper well we, we do need to kill creatures Okay, well, we, we killed one with our mining laser. We'll get the bolt caster ready. 
I'm I'm not sure if I can do this. Are none of these patches minerals? They're all just plants? It's got to be some underwater minerals, right? Ooh, oxygen level's critical. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's that's the thing we're gonna do. Okay, let's get back in our ship. Woo! So we'll travel back to our base and we'll build our teleporter there. Because we wanna make sure we get that done before we do much of anything else we don't forget. Alright, so we'll just take off and yeah, four minerals to scan. Well, let's leave the atmosphere and prepare to orbit around to our base. There we go. Four seconds. Boom, there we go. So we've left the ocean side of the planet to head back over here where it's just little lakes and tide pools. Although because we did find one creature in the ocean, I'm tempted to say there's likely going to be more creatures that we have yet to found, have yet to have found that are also in the ocean. All right. We'll initiate landing. And let's see about constructing. Nope, not portable technology. Permanent technology. We need that ionized cobalt. Okay, well, we can start to refine that. I have read in the comments all of the different things that we need to do to unlock future additions to our base. I just don't know if I want to do them here. We don't have any more salvage modules. And fuel. Let's put in that condensed carbon. We'll take the ferrite dust and put that in the starship. And we'll also put our rust in the starship. Okay, I'm sure we have some cobalt. Yes, we do. Okay, and we're going to refine. Yes, we'll refine it all. Should go nice and quick. Okay, let's go kill us some creatures while we're waiting for that. No, not the terrain manipulator. The bolt caster, please. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay. We need to find some ground creatures. All of these minerals have been scanned. Yup. We could try a cave. There might be cave minerals we've yet to scan. Oh, oh, I can get I can get them. Or not. No, we're going to have to stick with the ground creatures. They seem to be tricky to find, though. So we might have to swing over to the caustic planet across the way just to knock out some of these guild quests. I do want to... Oop, there's a mineral we haven't scanned. Yeah, I think that's... Oop. Try our luck again, maybe. See, they flew right through my line of fire. It's just not rapid enough. Rusted metal, we'll put it on the starship. Dihydrogen jelly. Yeah, okay. Even when, even with the the crosshairs showing up, it's not giving us what we need. So, but that's okay because I think not only will we have a better chance of finding unscanned minerals on the other planet, 
we'll likely have an easier time finding ground life forms as well. All right, let's just take our refined cobalt, we'll build our teleporter, and then we'll head off to the caustic planet before we jump out of this system. As I, I am ready. Oh, oh, oh. How am I not hitting them? The bolt caster just must have a really short range as far as its effective range for damage. Either that or I'm just a horrible shot. Come on. Really? I find it hard to believe that more of these shots are not connecting. Yeah, it's just not a good weapon to engage these airborne life forms. Oh, we don't have the cobalt. Let's get ourselves the cobalt here. And no, I don't want that. In fact, we're going to pick this up and then put it back down. Just so I have the fuel out of it. And we're going to leave it here. Basic components. No, we need equipment. I'll try again. Permanent equipment, permanent technology, and a base teleport module. Whoa, what did that destroy? What was that loud noise? Base terminus. Station Sigma. Wow, so we can go to any of the space stations we've been to? No way, this this list would get massive. Alright, so the weather is incoming. Let's go ahead and rename... What? So we'll call this... Firestorm Alpha just in spirit of the storm it's coming so so I'm curious though how will this allow me to teleport to the Misoso colony if I don't have a teleporter there and then how will I get back oh, I'm tempted to <sighs> curiosity is gonna get me I suppose we'll just have to build another teleporter there trying to remember if this was our desert planet. Well, we can definitely kill life forms on this planet if it, if it is going to be back to the desert planet. Oh, what about our ship? If we don't get our ship to come with us, maybe it's like the Stargate and our ship comes with us. See, we, we've got to just do it for science. We've got to figure it out as we go. That's part of the wonder of exploration. It is the desert planet, and it did take our ship with us. And there is a firestorm here as well. It's interesting. Well, we're, we're going to kill us some of these creatures. Because this planet was rife with creatures. Alright, so now in order to teleport back, we'd have to build a teleporter here. So we can teleport to here even without a teleporter. That's interesting. But it places our ship inside of our flag and our light. Pretty sure we scanned most of the minerals here as well. So I guess that means even from a space station, we should be able to teleport back to any base. So then really, you don't 
you don't really need a teleport terminus at your base because you could just go to the local space station in that system. And then teleport wherever you need to go from there. Let's use up one of our oxygen capsules. Oh, see, that's good because I thought this base was sort of lost to us. And lo and behold, it's not. Okay, well, we're not going to get any minerals that we haven't already scanned here either. So, I suppose we need to go back to the space station. Because I don't see a reason to build another... Well, no. I, I, no. No, I'm not going to do it. I was going to say we could build another teleporter here. But I don't really see a need for that. Put in the launch fuel. Let's fuel up the pulse engine. Uh, we don't have any pyrite. We're going to have to use our tritium. And we're going to send this ferrite dust to the ship. And we're going to send some of this... What? Copper to the ship? I mean, really, we, we actually have a good bit of space in our inventory. Rusted metal will go to the starship. And then what are we holding in our cargo slot? The goop. And then, oh, actually, you know what I want to do? Because I would like to put some, some rockets on here. Yeah, rocket launcher. Let's go ahead and do that. And then in the technology page, I would like to install the rocket tubes. Look at that, unstable plasma. All right, now I feel like we might actually be able to engage in combat should we be pursued by people looking to take our cargo again. Oh, you know what else, though? I wanted to put on an economy scanner, and that requires microprocessors. I think they sell those in this system, actually. Unknown planet. Did I not go to every planet in this system? Oh, abandoned building detected. What? No, we've been to this. We've been to this planet. That, that's the moon. Yeah, that's the Arctic moon. I don't know why it's telling me it's unmapped. I know we've been there. All right, well, let's head to the space station. We'll buy ourselves some microprocessors, get our economy scanner built for our ship, and then we'll head on back to the system we came from. And then once we get back to the system we came from, we can go to the uh, the planet with the caustic moisture. At which point we'll be able to kill some life forms, scan some minerals, complete our guild quests, and then jump to the next system along the Atlas path. That's the plan anyways. We'll see. We've got to be flexible. So. Alright, first things first, we're going to see if we can grab some microprocessors. Hello, everybody. Don't mind me. I'm just sprinting through your space station. No problems. No problems. I would like to buy items, please. Microprocessor. I need four. Thank you. What did I have the salt refractor for? See, I've got to keep a, like a list of things here. Must have been for... Oh, 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 it was for the exosuit. Hold on. How do I scrap that? Dismantle, dismantle. Oh, it says, oh. 
So I guess you don't get anything for dismantling it. Oh, and we need tritium. No, that's good, because then we're going to get our rocket boots. Yes, yes, that is a big deal. We absolutely need that. First, let's get our starship outfitted with an economy scanner. Oh, phase beam upgrade. Yeah, let's do that as well. Because I saw another salt refractor for sale here. Spend some of our hard-earned money. There we go. Getting some good upgrades done. We'll get the Fourier delimiter phase beam upgrade. That'll help. And then what we've got the nonlinear optics for the photon cannon upgrade. Might as well. Let's just let's just upgrade all the weapons we have, and then what we've got a blade of armor, another cobalt mirror. Let's let's buy one of those if it's available. I just want to give us the best possible chance of surviving a fight, so that I don't have to run anymore. I'm tired of running. Of course, they don't sell a cobalt mirror. That's fine, uh, but they do sell tritium. Uh, that could save us a lot of time mining for it, actually. So let's just actually let's let's buy a lot. Yeah, look how cheap it is. Holy moly! That'll work. That's more than enough. Oh, that's excellent. Boom. Rocket boots. Oh, we're gonna use them right here in this in the space station just to see how it works. Okay, that's kind of handy. I see how I see how to use it now. I was sort of tapping the button repeatedly unnecessarily. It gives you a little boost. Okay, all right. It sort of jumps across more than it jumps up, and and it uses a third of your jetpack to do it. Okay, so it's not the best. We'll still have to upgrade our jetpack tanks. But we're learning as we go. Oh, it doesn't rename it. It doesn't rename it to what I... Maybe I didn't hit the accept button. Either way, let's jump back. We'll figure out the name for it. And then we'll go from there. I'm trying to think if we're going to... Yeah, was we still need to go to the other planet. The, the mushroom place with the... The megaliths, the monoliths the giant stone structures. So we'll go back there to that. You know, and the anomalies in this system. I guess the anomaly is going to follow us or reach out to us when we need to contact them again. I'm not sure. But I want to find a good planet that I can feel excited about building a big base on so that we can start to unlock the medium refiner and the large refiner and all of that. Okay, where did you put my spaceship is the question I want to know. Oh, right over there. See, here you put my spaceship at a reasonable location. Okay, it says Firestorm Alpha, so obviously things are okay. Oh, look at all that tritium. Yeah, I might have bought I might have bought more than we needed. I'm okay with that. Let's put the fungal mold on the starship. I'm good with that. And I don't, yeah, I don't even really see a need, uh, a need to stay here. Now we can just depart right away and head immediately to the next planet. And we'll just pick a random spot. And away we go. Tephra Alpha, the miasmatic planet. Miasma? Miasma? 
miasmatic. Miasmatic. Me as mad I'm gonna have to look that up. Either way, it's a fungal planet. And we're gonna head back to it. I wonder if you can get underwater vehicles. I wouldn't mind exploring the oceans if I could get myself a little submersible. Because we all know that makes me very brave, right? Having a submersible in the deep oceans. I don't know who I'm trying to kid, but we're just going to pretend you haven't seen my Subnautica series. I'm totally brave in deep water once I get in the submarine. That's that's what we'll say. Here we go, making landfall. Well, yeah, planetary interference. Ooh, we're coming in hot. Rate of descent is like, oh, 80 degrees nose down. Better swing up. Swing up. There we go. Woo. And we'll just land, say, right here. Boom. Just drops out of the sky. Forms, formation process, localized black hole. You know, I never noticed that before. I suppose it doesn't matter if we get these missions, these guild missions checked on this planet or not, because we're going to jump to another system. I kind of wanted to do them before I left, though. Metal fingers. These look almost non-natural, like they were constructed. Oh, hey, life form. I guess I should make sure first that I've already scanned you. I wonder if, can you scan them after they're dead? Oh, you sure can. Oh, well then we're totally gonna shoot first and ask questions later. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any minerals here left unscanned either. Mm-hmm. Ran right past this. So how many life forms have we yet to discover on this planet is the question. Three out of five. Okay, well there's only five, but we've only found three of them. Oh, there's a new mineral. Alderite. Another one? Okay, alright. Renwalite. And that's a flora. Okay. That's okay, that's good money. Oh, that's what we'll have to do. We'll have to check if... Oh, that was a... Carbon Crystals was a unique mineral? Interesting. If you say so. Maybe because of the, uh, the elements arranged with it. I heard something. Yeah, we need to look for another scanner upgrade module. And uh, let's 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 see how many life forms we've yet to kill. Kill creatures, kill creatures. It doesn't say how many. I'm not sure why. Oh, seven. Oh, twenty-seven. Okay, well that's going to take some time. Oh, I should have gone in the water where that big school of fish was, and, uh, well. We'll get it over time. I'm not going to sit here and, and dedicate more time to this. I'm anxious to move on to the next system. 
let's fly back to the space station. We'll see if we can pick up a cobalt mirror for our ship's shield. We'll kill a few critters along the way just because we can. Why not? get a cobalt mirror and then uh, and then depart find where this atlas path is going to take us and just head on out we'll kill more creatures along the way there's bound to be life forms that need to be killing in other locations big fleet. All right. To the space station. Although I guess if we were just going to go to the space station, we could have taken the terminus teleporter there. Yeah, but that's a long it's a long loading screen. I guess that becomes the question. Is it faster to pulse engine somewhere? Oh no, that was much faster. Oh wow. Ooh, we're coming in fast. Better make room. It's like there's never any ships parked in here when we arrive. They always arrive later. Okay, well, well, we'll see what our first reward is from the Guild Envoy. This jump is a little overwhelming, but... Nah, I guess that's kind of good. Hello. I don't suppose you want to give me another... No, no, just just leave. Traveler looks at me as if they are seeing me for the first time. Uh, okay, all right, if you say so. Hey, friend. Offer me missions. Hand in missions. I would like to hand you this. 9,000 units. Oh, my standing with the Gek has increased. It's very good. Oh, should I look at more missions? Hunt low-level pirates. Could be fun. Yeah, we're, we're wanting to hunt some... It doesn't say any specific system. Excellent. Well, we're wanting to, we're wanting to engage in some space battles, so I think that's a good way to go about it. Oh, the bounty target is in this system. Ooh. So now I'm wondering where I saw the cobalt mirror from. Hmm. Okay. It's just as well. Let's go hunt ourselves a space pirate. We'll just have to keep our eye out for a cobalt mirror along the way. I don't think we're going to need the improved shields, though. Not with all these fancy weapons and upgrades we have. Wow, that was fast. It's just loitering around the space station. Oh, there it is. Okay, you're tagged. Uh, let's see. Rocket launcher? Let's get you in range. We're just going to open fire. I don't even know if we're going to hail them first. I mean, they're a known pirate with a bounty on their head. We don't have to answer to them. Ooh. It says out of range. Okay, well, let's get them in range. Okay. Hmm. And it's lighting us up already. Ugh, oh, darn it. Alright, well, we've got the phase beam on them now. Mm. Okay, back to the rockets. Okay, so I've got to aim where the circle is. Right, I see, I see, okay. It's going to take me a second to get the hang of this. We're not as maneuverable as we'd like to be. 
Ooh, that was a good hit. Oh, they did not like that. Oh, wait a second. Why is this still on my screen? Untag that. All you're doing is distracting me. Mm, didn't get a good lock on him. Mm, again. We've got to get that circle to turn red. We have to lead him. Come on. You can do it. Shield down. That's not good. We're gonna have to get our shields back. Ooh. Shield down again. Okay. Let's hit it, pump it in reverse for a second. And. Mm. Need that maneuverability, is what we need. Hold on. Gotcha. Ooh, yes. Unhappy with your luck now, huh? Oh, you're not trying to run, are you? I don't recommend that. Oh, supplies. Magnetized ferrite. And what else? Lemium. Alloy metal. Pure ferrite alloy. Oh, that's got some value to it. And a little bit of magnetized ferrite. Okay, nothing grand. Um, but we did complete the mission, so that's exciting. And our ship took a little bit of damage. That wasn't as bad as I thought, though. I can definitely feel the lack of maneuverability, and it took me a second to figure out the missiles. But I feel like I would do better in the next fight. Oh, can we look out for some of these asteroids, Thranxes? Goodness. I'm gonna cut the engine off a little too soon. Let's go inside. Excellent. All right, let's cash our low-level reward in for killing, quote, the reject. It's quite a name for somebody you have a bounty on. I mean, obviously, they're significant of a threat to put a bounty on them. It just seems like insult to injury. I would like to hand in a mission. The reject. Or maybe I'm the reject. That would probably be more accurate. Do you have more missions for me? Revenge of the Paw. No, we're going to stop doing that. That's that. See that Gek symbol? That's not even really... It's not a guild quest. These are the guild quests. This is like a, a standing with the Gek quest. And I don't... Yeah, I don't want to just sit here and keep farming these low-level pirates. I'd like to go to the next system. Question is, do we go to the next system now, or do we do it at the beginning of the next episode? Ooh, partner. Howdy, partner. Indeed, indeed. Ah, a handful of missions. Systems visited. Words learned. Wow, 50 more words for the next rank? Whoa. Whoa. All right, I think we're going to go ahead and make the jump at the beginning of the next episode since we're already well over our 30 minutes. So this has been No Man's Sky, episode 26. Thank you so much for joining me. I do hope you've had a good time watching because, as always, I've had a good time playing. Just do me a favor and go ahead and hit that like button if you have had a good time watching. And don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell if you haven't already done so. But until next time, take care.